All right, taxi cab, Metrolink, Uber, on your marks, get set, go. We're racing from our office in the central west end to Mr. Curry's in the heart of downtown. For St. Louis residents who don't have a car, the city can be a difficult place to get around. Uh, the Metrolink is fast, but if you're not starting and ending right on top of the Metrolink, it can take a long time. I need a cab to 5297 Washington Place. Ever since April of 2014, the Metropolitan Taxi Cab Commission has been attempting to keep cheap ride sharing options out of St. Louis. They filed an injunction against Lyft and shut that company down within just a couple months of it opening here last year, and they've dragged their feet over Uber ever since. I am waiting for a black Chevy Impala because that's what it tells me. The Taxi Cab Commission says that it's only trying to keep companies like Uber out to protect consumer safety and to protect sort of the consumer from a bad experience. But ride sharing has proven itself safe and popular in cities across the country. Mine said that I had seven minutes to wait. Yeah, they didn't tell me how long. Dude. So one really has to ask whether it's Uber service that is a problem or whether it's the fact that half of the taxi cab commissioners actually represent existing taxi companies in St. Louis. Hey, we should have one coming in like two minutes. Best part about riding the Metrolink compared to cab or Uber, 250. Well, I can see Brittany's already here. So we definitely lost to Brittany. Maybe Nathan as well, we'll see. Finish. I'll probably just send Uber an email and let them know that my driver was new and he and he did get lost and we'll see if they give me some of my money back. We're here to talk about the results. I came in third place with around 42 minutes, but it only cost me 250 to get down here. I came in second place and it originally cost me 1958, uh, but because my Uber driver didn't take the best route, I was I had a new reduced rate of 16.25. I came in first place, but with tip, mine was the most expensive trip. Uh, the fare was 16.20, and then I tipped out to $20. Uber is just another transportation option that St. Louisans should be able to take advantage of. In this case, the taxi was faster, but you could easily imagine situations where Uber might be the quicker option to take. Certainly the dispute resolution over the fare that Brittany was charged speaks in Uber's favor. And if somebody who's really price conscious like me wants to take a little bit longer to get downtown, we can always take a bus or the Metrolink.